vlog three, motivation and culture. I had an interaction with Linda again for um, my second interaction. So um, first I prompted a conversation about what Linda was involved in at school. Um, I remembered she had said um, her school in China did not require participation in co-curricular activities. Um, so I brought this up to analyze whether her participation was intrinsically motivated um, or extrinsically, or extrinsically, whether um, her parents made her, had her do something. So we discussed both of our interests in volleyball. Um, she began playing because she had wanted to. Um, her school actually discouraged her to do it. Um, but she did it anyway because she really enjoyed sports. Um, however, she ultimately had to quit upon request of her teachers. They said it was getting in the way of school. Um, and so I told her that in contrast, um, my school, it was required to participate in the co-curricular. And it was, um, um, but you could see that in her in her culture, it was discouraged to participate in activities that were solely for enjoyment um, that almost didn't revolve around education. Um, I could see volleyball was intrinsically motivated for Linda, though, um, because it was freely, freely chosen. Her parents didn't have her do it. Her teachers didn't. Um, she was concerned about learning um, and not just her performance because she... Um, I had said that I started playing volleyball because my sister did and um, so I had had quite a bit of knowledge from watching my sister. However, she said that she came in and she knew nothing about the sport when she started. Um, uh, but she was really good at the sport at the same time. She built up um, a skill because she was about to be captain before she was um, told she had to quit. Um, and um, it challenged her because she was learning a whole new sport and they played in tournaments quite often too. Um, although I've always um, participated in sports, um, so I wouldn't have um, needed to be told um, that I had to be in a co-curricular. Um, but my high school, it was considered a part of our education to participate in co-curricular activities. It could have been a sport. It could have been um, the play. You could have been in choir. Um, we had a trillion clubs, whether it was um, cultural clubs, etc. So um, I chose to play sports because I had played sports my whole life. Um, so I played basketball and volleyball because of this. And um, when Linda and I discussed this, she emphasized that this was not the case in China. Um, and in fact, they were very, very discouraged um, to as it took away from their studies and their education. And um, as we, had, as I have talked about in vlogs previously, their studies were very, very intense. So it did make sense that in her culture, it was seen as something that they shouldn't partake in almost. Um, I then started talking to her about, um, if she participated in anything else, um, to start to try and get an idea of what, if she par participated in anything that was intrinsically motivated. Um, so I asked her if she was, she did anything in school that she didn't enjoy, but put a lot of time and effort into, which I said was, um, for me it was studying, um, it still is, um, and she, Linda said, um, she was a leader in her class, which meant she helped the teacher to manage the classroom because um, I had previously mentioned they stay in the same class with the same students every lesson of every day. Um, she did not want this position um, because her, but her teacher had her, made her be in this position and appointed her to it. And um, I could see she was intrinsically motivated because um, as we talked about it, she said she hated, she hated it. It was a lot of extra work, um, but she did put in a lot of effort in time, um, and it was very challenging to be taking on that extra work, 
Um, but she wouldn't quit as she didn't want um, to let her teacher down. And she was praised at the end of the semester because she did well. Um, which are all... Um, which all imply that it was a intrinsically motivated. Um, here I could see a correlation between our cultures um, um, because uh, we were both motivated by this uh, because I also try hard to impress my teachers and follow what they're saying, t telling me to do. Um, and I assume we both do so because of the authoritative position that they hold and the possible benefits in the future, whether um, they're more likely to help us in study hours and they're more, um, you're, you have a better relationship with them. And um, so I would often take roles in high school um, to, help, uh, to help my professors. Um, so we discussed our school policies to see which motivation features they emphasized more. Um, uh, I told her that um, the older I got in high school, the less intrinsically motivated I became. Um, I told her that, um, I didn't say those exact words, but I did say teachers pulled back a lot more um, and it became more my responsibility to learn and be interested in order to know what I wanted to go forward um, to doing, whether that was school or if I wanted to take a break from school, etc. Um, and even what I was capable of. So my teachers pulled back and they would say they wouldn't punish us. It was just we didn't do it. We're going to be the ones that suffer in the future, really. Um, but Linda said her school was very strict, ensuring every assignment was completed. Um, and they did this by having multiple different punishments. These were in place, um, and they were such as calling your parents. Um, if you didn't do it, you would have to sit out the whole next lecture and sit in the hall, or um, you would have a discussion with the teacher and um it was clear her culture believed that motivation um or that punishment was a good way to um was the most effective way to get the students to be motivated to do the work um and lastly we talked about the process of changing um extrinsic extrinsic to intrinsic motivation um we taught, I told her a story about how when I was little in first grade, I struggled really hard with reading, very bad. My mother came in and was a volunteer and we would be um, doing comprehension and I was just really lagging behind and therefore my parents had me and I was very motivated to work on it super hard. Um, but mainly because my parents were having me, my teachers were trying to get me up to speed. And because I worked on it so hard, um, I ended up really loving it. And now I do it intrinsically motivated. I love to read, do it before I go to bed and things like that. Um, so we talked about with, I talked, Linda shared a story that, when she was in elementary school, um, she only wanted to do leisure activities. She wanted to have no responsibilities. She just wanted to play. And that was what she wanted to do was hang out with friends and like middle school, etc. Um, but her parents said that she had to begin participating in things that would benefit her um, socially and her, her social and responsibility skills um, and her future. So they had her sign up for student government, which she really didn't want to participate in. She didn't want the responsibility of that extra work. Um, so at first, her motivation was her parents requir requiring it. However, it changed to her really enjoying it as she got into it and um, as she was more comfortable in her position and she learned what it was about. She really enjoyed um that because um, it really improved her leadership skills and she had more confidence and then um, she also made a lot of friends. So after this interaction, now analyzing it, um, I can see that in Linda's culture they don't participate in a lot of activities that are intrinsically motivated. Um, it can be seen as taking away from education and more important and beneficial 
things for um, their future or learning. Um, I think this contrasts with my culture's beliefs as it um, is seems to be seen as developing skills, whether it's teamwork through sports, comprehension through reading leisurely, um, social skills through hanging out with friends. It is also seen as a huge stress reliever. I know like I'm intrinsically motivated to work out because I it releases endorphins and I genuinely feel good afterwards. Um, so it's interesting to see how leisure activities can be um, misconstrued or can be perceived in different cultures. Um, it's uh, the contrast of where education decides to step in with your outside activities and um, as Linda was told not to participate in extra activities whereas I was told I had to and it was always seen in as from my childhood as something you you did outside of school. So it's interesting to see what they believe is beneficial. And that was my interaction with Linda. Thank you.